Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I welcome you. I am Virginie, an interior designer, and I deal with houses that represent 100% less to leave them, from consulting to the entire renovation process. I also help foreigners who want to buy and renovate in Italy to support them all the process long, otherwise difficult to follow from a distance. In this channel I will talk about home and renovation, trying to give you helpful tips so that you can have your dream house, a house that represents you in depth and where you will always feel at your ease. Today I would like to tell you about 10 essential elements to consider when decorating your bedroom, which will help you feel comfortable and relaxed. But before we get started, if you love everything related to the home and renovation topic, remember to subscribe to my channel for more information on this subject. And please don't forget to click the like button because it's the best way to support this channel and my contact and I truly appreciate it. It is paramount to decorate the bedroom well because it's the most intimate room in the house and the most important since it is where we'll rest and thus actually recharge our batteries. Furniture, colors, textiles and objects are the means that will help create the atmosphere of our rooms. And in the bedroom, this takes on even more importance. A good night's sleep will enable to face each day in the best way possible. So let's see these 10 elements that will help you decorate your bedroom well. I repeat myself, but color plays a really important role in homes. Having a psychological implication, choosing the right color becomes crucial. The risk is not feeling comfortable and in the bedroom, not resting properly. It is advisable to choose in the bedroom colors that relax. Earth tone, sand, dusty blues, greens and soft pinks are colors that suggest tranquility and serenity. That does not mean heavy, having to give up sliding brighter colors, in which case the ideal is to use it as an accent color, perhaps in the bedspread or pillows, while keeping more neutral colors in the rest of the room. The mirror, especially if it is vertical, is functional because it helps you get ready for the day. It will make the room brighter and airy, making it also look bigger by reflecting lights. It also gives styles and character to the be your bedroom by having different shapes and sizes to choose from. As said many times, a good design is not limited to the aesthetic part. We need to experience an environment with all five of our senses. The sense of smell is one of them, and it's among the most powerful because chance can influence brain activity. It is proven that some fragrances bring benefits to our well-being. A good fragrance in your room may help you fall asleep more easily. Lavender, vanilla, jasmine, uh, chamomile, bergamot and rose are among of the best essences to promote sleep because they help slow down our nervous system. Scented candles, diffusers and flowers are all ways to bring your favorite fragrances into your room. This then will also be useful to give that extra aesthetic touch to the room. As with the living room, curtains dress the window. 
complement the wall and give warmth. And again, they will be the best way to introduce colors and patterns. Curtains also will be beneficial in darkening the room and thus allowing you a better sleep. If the light is vital during the day, you should know that at night even a little glimmer of it decreases your melatonin intake, ruining your rest. The ideal to do this is to use two different types of curtains, one light to let light through during the day while maintaining the privacy, and one thicker that can darken the room when needed, especially at night. Perhaps you too grew up with the idea that you can't keep plants in your room because they absorb oxygen and release carbon dioxide. Whereas this is not the case. Because while it's true they do release carbon dioxide at night, this is so little that it does not have the slightest impact on you. If you make your room a forest, maybe so, but in general. <laughs> The positive effects, on the other hand, are many. They absorb harmful substances in your home environment, improving the quality of the air you breathe. They have a relevant psychological implication because they make you feel closer to nature. Aloe vera, Spatophyllum, Sansevieria, Orchid, Pothos and Lavender are ideal for the bedroom. The right plants for your bedroom will not only purify the air, making you feel more relaxed and thus promote rest, but will give the room freshness and liveliness. With the right vases, you will also add a touch of design. Feeling rot and pampered before, during and after a sleep will really make a big difference. Rugs, pillows and bedding should feel soft and pleasant to the touch to make you 100% relaxed and always comfortable. Adding a blanket almost throw in adds warmth, softness and color. Light is of course super important in every room of the house, but it takes on a prominent role, especially in the bedroom. Warm, soft and directed light is ideal for creating an intimate and relaxing atmosphere. For this room you should choose bulbs with a warm color temperature of around 2700 degrees Kelvin. If you want to learn more, I talk about lighting and color temperature here and I'll leave you the link in the description box below. For the bedside lamps, prefer those with shades that can soften the light and bulbs with not too high lumens. You only need them for reading, not for lighting the whole room. An extra seat near or at the foot of the bed increases the functionality of your bedroom while also helping to add colors and material. You can use it for sitting when you need to put on socks or shoes or to prop up an outfit without having to lean it against the bed. That's for sleeping. <laughs> A bench, armchair or poof will then give that extra touch that will give character to your room. Clutter is definitely anti-aesthetic, so storage elements are really essential. I'm not just talking about the closet or the walk-in closet for the lucky ones, but also dressers, nightstands and why not storage benches and ottomans. 
that will help to store as many things as possible, leaving the room looking large and tidy. Also, aesthetically, they will add color and materials as added in the pre previous point. And could be special pieces that will make your room truly unique. Last but not least, make the space truly yours by using decoration and objects that represent you. The personal touch can never be lacking, least of all in the bedroom, to make the environment familiar and intimate. Photographs, paintings, souvenirs, books and various objects that have value to you are ideal for leaving your mark in your room. They can be the unique piece, the focal point that attracts the eyes, or somehow merged by picking up colors and shapes in other parts of the bedroom. Would you add something to decorate your bedroom? Let me know in the comments. I hope the video was helpful and you'll love it. In case, let me know with a thumbs up and again in the comments. Please feel free to share this video with someone you think might be interested in the topic. I will be honored and it will help me to grow my channel. If you feel that your home or some environment of it does not reflect you enough, don't wait any longer and book your consultancy. You can contact me by finding my contacts in the description box below. And if you already haven't done it yet, remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you will not miss the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.